Okay, dadako po tayo sa ating pag-aaral sa ating Sunday School. Uh, kung ako po ay tatanungin, uh, sa evangelism, paniniwala ka ba sa easy believism? Easy believism. So, there is, or do you practice easy believism in evangelism? Now, there are so many uh, misconceptions about what is easy believism and what is repentance. So, my subject or my, my, my uh, theme today is about uh, easy believism and repentance. Mahalaga pong maliwanagan natin ang mga bagay na ito. Ano ba yung easy believism at ano yung, ano yung repentance? Because there are so many uh, misconceptions, uh, many misunderstanding concerning easy believism and uh, repentance. Now, what do I mean by easy believism and uh, Do we a uh, practice uh, easy believism in our evangelism? So we just need to understand. No, depende kung anong ibig sabihin. No, kasi yung term na yan, although hindi, na, hindi naman natin makikita sa Bible, yung word na easy, pero maunawaan natin easy, madalian, believism, yung bang uh, paniniwala. No. Believism means uh, uh, paniniwala o madali ang paniniwala. Now, unawain natin kung ano ibig sabihin at ano yung stand natin uh, patungkol dito. No? Ano yung stand natin patungkol dito? So, mahalaga pong maunawain natin. Now, we believe that salvation is uh, by grace through faith. A lot of people um, are confused also about how a person can be saved. Ginawa nilang itong uh, complicated, no? Ginawa nilang uh, complicated in the sense na napakadami nang gagawin before you get saved. Some people are teaching that you need to Obey all the commandments to be saved. Now, there are so many commandments in the Bible. Or some really do not understand what the gospel means. By the way, what is the gospel? The gospel, according to 1 uh, uh, Corinthians chapter 15, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse uh, 3 to 5. Okay. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that He was buried, and that He rose again the third day according to the Scriptures, and that He was seen of Sebas, then of the twelve. Then, verse 6, sabi nga dito, no? after that, he was seen, he was seen of about 500 brethren at once, of whom the greater part remain unto this present, but some are fallen asleep. Ito yung patungkol sa death, burial, and resurrection. of the Lord Jesus Christ. And today, uh, Christians are celebrating the resurrection of, of Jesus Christ. And we believe that Jesus Christ resurrected from the grave. So what is the gospel? Ito yung about sa death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Now we believe that a person is saved through the gospel. Now, now dito po sa sinasabi sa Romans chapter 1 verse 16, sabi nga dito, Romans chapter 1 verse 16. For I am not ashamed 
of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. So, sabi nga, I am not ashamed. The gospel is the the gospel is the uh, power of God unto salvation. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God at the salvation. So, we are saved through the gospel, through the preaching of the gospel, of the gospel. Uh, makita natin mga kapatid na napakahalaga po, maunawaan natin what is the gospel. But so many people have made salvation so complicated in the sense that they are teaching that in order for you to be saved, you have to obey all the commandments in the Bible. O sabi nila, sundin mo lahat yung uto sa Biblia. No? O meron nga isang uh, preacher na hindi uh, true preacher. Sabi niya, yung pangunawa niya sa gospel, you obey all the words of God. This is the question. Can you obey all the commandments in the Bible? Hindi naman, di ba? You cannot obey all the commandments in the Bible because no one no, no one is uh, perfect. No one is righteous. So, kung ang kaligtasan natin ay nagdedepende sa ating pagsunod sa sa lahat ng kautusan sa Biblia, iwala namang nakasunod sa lahat ng utos sa Biblia. Ang ang iba ang pagkaunawa nila following the Ten commandments, hindi po 'yun ang tinutukoy ng gospel. Ang hindi po lahat sa Bible, uh, hindi po lahat sa Bible is the gospel. Say for example, if uh, I am talking about, uh, I am speaking to you about the life of Moses, and then hindi nyo naunawaan yung about kay Jesus Christ who died on the cross for our sins, I'm not talking about the gospel. I I I might be talking about the law. But I'm not talking about the good news. The gospel is the good news. What is the good news? That Christ died for our sins. And if you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, then you will be saved. Pag nanalig ka kay Jesus Christ, yan po, sabi sa John, 3, John chapter 3, verse 16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So, ang, ang, we believe that salvation is by grace through faith. Yan po, makikita natin sa Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 and verse 9. Sabi nga dito sa Ephesians chapter 2. Now, let's see the verse. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. Verse 9, not of works, lest any man should boast. Ang kaligtasan po ay hindi sa gawa. O maliwanag po. Kasi kung sa gawa po tayo maliligtas, mag yung tao. Sabi nga dyan sa verse 9, not of works, lest any man should boast. E paano maligtas ang tao? For by grace are you saved through faith. Not of yourselves. That means not of your efforts. Because it is God's gift. Pag sinasabi pong gift, you do not work for something that is given freely. Pag sinasabi pong gift, libre po yan, walang bayan. No? Regalo, kaloob. Yan po ang ibig sabihin ng gift. Halimbawa, birthday mo. Pero nagbigay sa'yo ng birthday gift. You, don't, you cannot say, I'll work for it. I'll strive to obtain it. Hindi po yan. No? Ang, ang di po ay pinatanggap. Pinatanggap. Kaya sabi sa Bible, uh, John 1.12, But as many as received Him, to them gave He power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe in His name. Tingnan po natin, ano? But as many as received Him, to them gave He power to become 
the sons of God, even to them that believe on His name. So it is by faith. So how do you receive Christ? How do you receive Christ? Kasi po, kahit yung word na receive sa ngayong panahon, ang daming gumagamit niyan, no? Uh, some people are thinking uh, when you are uh, having communion or Lord's uh, Supper or communion, you are receiving Christ. Hindi po yan. That is not what receiving Christ means. No? So what is receiving Jesus Christ? You receive Him as your Savior. You trust in Him. Yun po ang ibig sabihin. Of course, that involves repentance. That involves repentance. Kasi uh, real faith involves repentance. Pag sinasabing faith, John chapter 6 verse 47, sinasabi po, sabi po ni Jesus, John chapter 6 verse 47, okay? Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me hath everlasting life. Do we believe, do we believe in uh, salva salvation by faith alone as you can find in these uh, verses? Uh, do we believe that salvation is by faith alone? You don't question. Yes, we do believe that salvation is by faith. Salvation is by believing on the Lord Jesus. Yan po, paniniwala natin. Pero hindi po ibig sabihin na yung uh, faith na walang ang faith, ang real faith ay walang pagsisisi. Hindi po ganun ang ibig sabihin. We believe that salvation is by faith but it does not it does not mean that real faith or real trusting in Jesus does not involve repentance. So naniniwala po tayo na ang isang tao hindi magtitiwala kay Jesus kapag hindi niya na-realize ang kanyang sins. Mahalaga po yung uh, acknowledgement of sin and that is the work of the Holy Spirit in our lives. John chapter 16 verse 8 John chapter 16 verse 8 And when he is come he will reprove the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment of sin because they believe not on me. Kaya po sa ating evangelism, when we share the gospel, hindi diretso kaagad na um, diretso kaagad sa acceptance. Uh, hindi ganon. So, we, we start in um, helping a person know that he is a sinner. So, we start with a problem. So, uh, remember, when you present the gospel, there are three uh, important things that you have to share. One is about the problem of man. And what is the problem of man? Man is a sinner. And that there is a consequence of sin. Uh, sabi nga sa Bible, Romans 3.23, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And then, sinasabi po sa um, Romans 6.23, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And that does not refer only to physical death, but there is eternal death. Diba natin sa... Sa binasa natin ngayon kanina. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And then let's look at Revelation chapter 21 verse 8. Revelation chapter 21 verse 8. So ito yung tinatawag na second death. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable 
and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone which is the second death so when we present the gospel we don't just jump into uh, the point of receiving Jesus. Hindi, ta, hindi tayo lulundag doon na patatanggapin mo kaagad kay Jesus na hindi mo pa naipaliwanag yung kalagayan ng tao. So you have to present first the problem. The problem of man that he is a sinner. That he is, he is uh, bound to hell because of his sin. And then, yan po ang sitwasyon ng tao. And then, you present about the, the, the solution of the Lord, God's solution, about Jesus who died on the cross for our sins. And then, you present about how to receive Christ. It is by repentance and faith. Or you, you, you explain about faith in Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, for by grace are you saved through faith. But then you explain that real faith involves repentance. Luke 13, 3, except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Oh, marami po kasing mga kinatawag na evangelism materials ngayon. Wala nang repentance of sin. No? Wala nang banggit-banggit about hell. They do not mention about sin. They do not mention about hell. I just believe. Okay. Hindi po yan, uh, hindi po yan ang, ang tamang presentation ng gospel. Kasi yan po ang tinatawag na social gospel. Uh, ano ba yung social gospel? Alam niyo po kahit saan ang daming nagtuturo na believe, receive kahit sa mga false churches. Ang dami po. So, balikan natin itong dalawang extreme. Ito ang gano'n akong uh, drawing dito. Okay. Makita natin ang drawing. Okay. Parang ano no? Ito yung faith, ito yung works, ito yung intellectual faith. Okay. Andito yung tamang faith, andito yung intellectual faith, at andito yung salvation by works. Ito yung salvation by works, ito yung kinatawag na legalism. Na sobrahan, puro ito extreme. Ito namang uh, kabila, liberalism. Ito yung papasok dito yung easy believism. Dito naman, ito naman yung another extreme na sabi nila yung repentance is a work. And you have to quit sinning. Or you have to obey the commandments to be saved. So another extreme ito, puro ito, mga extreme, ano? So sa kabila, basta mere belief. No? So, dito naman sa kabila is legalism. Sabi nila, you have to quit sinning to be saved. Yun, i-explain po natin. Uh, so na-explain natin yung faith. Ano yung tunay na faith? Uh, faith is trusting in Jesus. We believe that salvation is by faith, but it's not cheap. Hindi po mumurahin. Naniniwala tayo na ang kaligtasan ay uh, free, but it's not cheap. It costs the blood of Jesus. Mahal ang bayad ng ating Panginoon sa salvation. Hindi mumurahin. At naniniwala tayo no, na ang salvation is not complicated. Hindi po complicated. Tulad po sa sinasabi ng iba, ito yung uh, dapat masunod mo muna lahat ng utos o dapat you quit sinning o dapat you don't you don't sin anymore to be saved. 
dapat masunod mo muna ang Ten Commandments. They are just trying to make it complicated. But actually, salvation is simple. But people made it complicated. Kaya nga nalilito ang tao kung paano ba maligtas. Kasi, uh, parang, ang uh, imposible, ginawa nilang imposible maligtas yung tao kasi sabi nila, you have to, to live a good life to be saved. You have to obey all the commandments to be saved. You have to stop sinning to be saved. Salvation is a work. You have to work hard to be saved. Pero anong sabi sa Bible? Ephesians 2.8, anong, anong sabi sa Bible? Tingnan natin dito. Ephesians 2 verse 8. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8. Sabi nga dito. For by grace... Are you saved through faith? And that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. And also, in, in uh, James chapter 2 verse 10, James chapter 2 verse 10, For whosoever shall, of, shall keep the whole law, and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. Pag nalabag mo yung isa, nalabag mo yung lahat. So, kung sa gawa ang kaligtasan, eh, sinong maliligtas? Nalabag mo yung isa, nalabag mo yung lahat. Kung ang kaligtasan ay sa pagsunod sa mga kautusan, pag nalabag mo yung isa, nalabag mo yung lahat, eh, sinong makasunod sa kautusan? Walang maligtas kung gano'n. No? Maliwanag po na ang kaligtasan can be obtained by faith. That's simple. So, kung titingnan natin, hindi complicated. That is easy. Kaya nga, pagtanungin ako, nag, naniniwala ka ba o sa easy belief visa? Depende. What do you mean by easy belief visa? If you think that mere belief, just believing without repentance, that's easy belief visa. If you think that you can be saved by reading a prayer, Asahin mo lang yung prayer, that's easy belief yourself. If, if you think that you can be saved just by uh, following a prayer, praise by praise, ang dami pong gumagawa ng gano'n, na susunod lang sila sa prayer, praise by praise, and then wala man. Hindi naman talaga, hindi naman na makikita sa paglilingko, there is no repentance. That's easy belief yourself. A lot of people will say, I believe God. Marami mga tao nagsasabi, I believe God, but they do not serve God. No? Now, ano ba itong work? Ano ba itong service? Is it a requirement for salvation? No. It, it's, it is not a requirement for salvation. What is the requisite of salvation? What is the command of the gospel? Diwanagi natin, ano ba itong command ng gospel? Kasi ang pagkaunawa ng iba, ang command ng gospel, ay susundin mo lahat yung utos, which is impossible. You cannot obey all the commandments. Ano ba ang command ng gospel? Tingnan po natin sa Mark chapter 1, verse 15. Mark chapter 1, verse 15. And saying, oh, this is Jesus Christ, and saying, Now, basahin natin sa verse 14, Jesus came into Galilee preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God. Okay, now after that John was put in prison, Jesus came into Galilee preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God. And verse 15, and saying, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. Ito po yung commands ng gospel. So, what are the commands of the gospel? Repent ye and believe the gospel. So, if you read the Old Testament, the New Testament, makikita po natin, even in the book of the gospel, that Jesus Christ preached repentance. Oh, marami po mga nagtuturo ngayon, no? 
uh, they do not preach repentance. That's a social gospel. Yan po ang social gospel. They do not mention about hell. They do not mention about sin. They just say, you believe. That's a social gospel. So, ginagawa nilang cheap. No? Ang totoo, mga kapatid. When Christ died for our sins, it is not cheap. Pinayaran ni Jesus Christ with His precious blood. Kaya, yung pagtanggap kay Jesus Christ, it does not mean that you just believe without repentance. We just believe without repentance. Ang pagtanggap kay Jesus Christ, is, there must be a, real, a realization that sin is sin. You have to agree that sin is sin and that you are a sinner. You have to admit that you are you are a sinner. And that's the work of the Holy Spirit to reprove men according to John chapter 16. To reprove men of sin. Yun po ang kawain ng Holy Spirit. So, yan, no? John chapter 16, verse 8. And when he is come, he will reprove the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Okay. Yeah. And then, Luke 13, 3. Let's read Luke 13, 3. Luke 13, 3. I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Now another verse, Mark chapter 2, verse 17. <clears throat> Mark chapter 2, verse 17. Jesus heard it, he said unto them, They that are full have no need of the physician, but they that are sick. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Ito ang example niyan yung marami ang naapektuhan ngayon sa COVID. Pero if you do not realize na meron kang sakit, hindi ka pupunta sa doktor. Yan ang point. E dapat ma-realize mo na... <clears throat> ma-realize mo na merang nagkasakit ka at ayaw mo sa sakit na yan kaya gusto mong pumunta sa doko but if you love sin gusto mo ng kasalanan at hindi mo alam na kasalanan pala yan sa Panginoon bakit mo kailangan ng Savior? so there must be a change of mind a repentance kasi the word repentance from the, the Greek word metanoia a metanoia, it means a change mind. Now, it refers to a change of mind and attitude towards sin. Now, realize mo that sin is sin. Ayaw mo, ayaw mo na ng kasalanan. You, you don't love sin anymore. Because by nature, yung tao, he loves sin. Saan so, natin may kita? John chapter 3, verse, verse 19. John chapter 3, verse 19. Light is come into the world. Okay, this is the condemnation that light is come into the world. But men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. Okay, balikan natin. No? Balikan natin yung katanungan. So kung ako'y tanungin, kung uh, naniniwala ba ako sa easy believism, depende po yan kung anong ibig sabihin ng easy believism. Dalawang, dalawang side po yan, ano? Uh, una, kung ang tinutukoy ay walang repentance or yung easy believism na yan ay tumutukoy sa tinatawag na basa ka lang ng prayer uh, prayer na uh, sinner's prayer na nakasulat so, basahin mo lang yan, wala naman sa heart mo ay hindi, easy believism yan kung ang tinuturo ay uh, basta, believe ka lang na wala kang repentance sa kasalanan at easy believism niya. Kaya nga, ang mga evangelism materials ngayon, 
uh, social gospel. No? They don't, mapapansin mo, they don't talk about sin. They don't talk about hell. No? They just say, believe. Yan po ay easy believism. No? Bakit? Pinagawa mong chip ang Panginoon. No? Walang repentance. Halimbawa, ikaw, yung boyfriend mo o yung mister mo ng maliwa. Tapos, gusto niya makipagbalikan sa'yo. Nagkahiwalay kayo. Gusto niya makipagbalikan sa'yo. Pero, hindi niya aaminin yung kanyang kasalanan. Gusto lang niya magtiwala ka sa kanya at magtiwala siya sa'yo uli. No? Okay ba yan sa'yo? Hindi. Hindi. Okay kay God. No? Kasi sa Bible, nakikita natin, pinuotusan ng Panginoon ang lahat na magsisi. Acts chapter 17 verse 30, God commanded all men everywhere to repent. And then Isaiah, no? Ito tayo sa Isaiah chapter uh, Isaiah chapter 55 verse 7. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 7, sabi nga dito, Let the wicked forsake his way, the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord. Let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. Ang tanong, sinong pinag-uusapan? If we try to analyze this passage and you apply Bible analysis, sinong pinag-uusapan? Wicked, hindi mga believer. Ano ang pinag-uusapan? No? Forsake his way, that is repentance. Anong ibig sabihin ng, ng repentance? A change of mind and attitude towards sin. Kaya itong forsake his way, hindi ito yung ibig sabihin na you have to work to the point of becoming sinless. Pero ang ibig sabihin nito ay you make a decision, a change of mind, a decision to forsake no? sinful thoughts and way. There must be repentance of sin. So this is talking about repentance. Repentance of sin. Sa anong verse sa Bible na merong repentance of sin? Ito mismo. No? Sabi pa dito, Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Ano itong thoughts na ito? Makasalanan ba ito o hindi? makasalanan ito. Sabihin nila, maaring ang topic dito ay hindi kaligtasan. Maaring repentance ito sa pag uh, sa kalamidad o sa destruction ng Israel. No. Because this is talking about pardon. Mercy. Sabi nga, He will have mercy upon Him and to our God for He will abundantly uh, pardon. So, makita po natin, mga kapatid, no? na uh, meron, pong, meron pong tinatawag na uh, repentance. No? Meron, pong, meron pong repentance of sin from, from the Greek word uh, metanoia. And that means uh, to change one's mind. No? Yan po ang ibig sabihin ng, ng uh, metanoia. Okay, so, balikan natin ang punto natin, ano? So, naunawaan natin ngayon yung what is repentance. Repentance means a change of mind, no? a change of mind and attitude towards sin. Na dati mahal mo yung kasalanan, then you change your mind. And the moment you realize that you are a sinner, of course, there will be sorrow. Merong kalungkutan. At yan po ay makikita natin sa 2 Corinthians chapter chapter 7 verse 10. 2 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 10. Sabi nga dito, For godly sorrow, work at repentance to salvation. Godly sorrow, work at repentance to salvation. Anong topic dito? Salvation. Meron bang godly sorrow? Yes, godly sorrow. Work at repentance to, to salvation. So, makita natin na merong sorrow. No? 
merong merong change sa heart ng tao. So when a person uh, when a person uh, realizes his sin because of the conviction of the Holy Spirit, uh, dahil sa conviction ng Holy Spirit, nagkakaroon siya ng sorrow. So there is a change of uh, change of attitude towards sin, ano? Na uh, nagkaroon siya ng yung tinatawag na contrite heart. Tingnan natin sa Psalms chapter 34 verse 18. Psalms chapter 34 verse 18 and Psalms 51 verse 17. Unahin natin Psalms 34 verse 18. Okay, sabi nga dyan. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and save it such of a contrite spirit. So, another verse is another verse is yung binigay ko kanina Psalms 51 verse 17 Psalms 51 verse 17 The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit a broken and a contrite heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. Yung word na contrite po, mga kapatid. Yung word na contrite means from the Latin word contritos, and it means ground to pieces. So, ang ibig pong sabihin yan, uh, uh, you, were, you were broken in heart. You were... Uh, you were parang binasag ang iyong puso. Just like the, the publican when he prayed, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Sabi niya, God, be mer mer merciful unto me, a sinner. So there is that repentance, uh, a realization that you don't deserve. Sabi ng publican, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. He smote his breast actually. So, meron talagang emotion, ano? Godly sorrow, work at repentance to salvation. Kaya, balikan natin ang punto natin, ano? Kung paano maligtas, uh, bago ang isang tao manampalataya, uh, merong repentance, no? Of course, merong conviction ng Holy Spirit. And then, realization ng kanyang sin, merong sorrow. When, when there is sorrow, sabi nga sa verse kanina, Sa 2 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 10, Godly sorrow, work at repentance to salvation. So, yung sorrow niya, yung kanungkutan, maghahatid sa kanya doon sa repentance. At yung repentance naman ay maghahatid doon sa uh, salvation. Godly sorrow, work at repentance. Kalungkot siya, nagsisi siya. And then, yung repentance to salvation. Pero hindi ibig sabihin na repentance lang kasi pag nagrepent ka, you trust in Jesus. Kasi that is, uh, repentance is a change of mind, an attitude towards sin. You love sin, and then you change your mind, you hate sin, you love God, you turn to God. No? And then, trusting in Jesus, a Savior, sabi nga sa Makita natin sa uh, Acts 20, 21. Acts chapter uh, 20, verse 21. Sabi nga dito, testifying both to the Jews and also to the Greeks, repentance, toward God and faith toward our Lord Jesus. So, repentance toward God and faith toward our Lord Jesus. So, when you repent toward God, you realize that you are sinners sa harap tayo ng Panginoon magsisisi and then when you repent toward God, then you you trust in Jesus. You realize that you are a sinner. You realize that you cannot save yourself. You repent of your sins. Because you cannot save yourself, you know that 
You can do nothing to save yourself. Your good works cannot save you. Then you trust in Jesus as your deliverer, as your savior. So, yan po ang ibig sabihin ng tunay na pananampalataya. That involves repentance and faith. When there is repentance, good works is the result. When there is real faith, good works is the result. Magka-partner ito, itong dalawa. Repentance and faith, hindi pwedeng paghiwalayin. They are inseparable graces. They are inseparable graces. They are sacred duties toward God and Jesus Christ. Hindi po pwedeng hiwalayin. Pero, nauna yung repentance in order for a person to have real faith, agsisi mo na siya and then nanalig siya kay Jesus bilang kanyang tagapagliktas. Because a person who loves sin and does not want deliverance will not trust in Jesus. He must come to a point of repentance and accepting Christ by faith as His only Savior. Yan po ang ibig sabihin natin ng by faith. Yan po ang ibig sabihin natin ng by faith alone kasama doon yung repentance. No? Merong, merong pong repentance sa sin when you trust in Jesus. Kasi mahirap naman kung isulat pa sa Bible, isa-isahin pa yan. Yan po ang ibig sabihin ni Paul. Yan po ang ibig sabihin ni Jesus Christ. Believe. Kaya nga, uh, nilagay sa Bible yung dalawang klaseng belief. Yung isang mere belief. Yung isa tunay na pananampalataya. Ano yung mere belief? You just believe in God intellectually, pero wala kang tiwala kay Jesus. Sabi nga sa James chapter 2 verse 19, Thou believest there is one God, thou doest well, the devils also believe and tremble. So now ay naunawaan natin ang ano yung easy believism, ano yung tunay na repentance, uh, paano talaga tanggapin si Jesus Christ. May God bless uh, His word and we will continue for our preaching this morning and for a while we will we will uh, listen to to the piano played and also uh, there are some special numbers to be rendered by Ace and Malai and later on and we will have a word of prayer for our closing for the Sunday school and then we will proceed to the service. Let us have a word of prayer. We thank you Lord for the things that we learn and we hope that each one was able to understand the message and we pray Lord that you will help each one to be enlightened through the, through the conviction of the Holy Spirit and the guidance of the Holy Spirit and this we pray in Jesus' name, Amen. Okay.